this package um, to my P.O. box. Hey y'all, what's up? So your girl is about to head out. Um, I'm actually about to go to Records at Barney's with my home girl, Deja. So y'all, is it just me or like in the summertime when it's hot as fuck in the car, it just feels like everything about to melt? Like I hate this process of um, turning on my AC and waiting for it to pump up. But yeah, I can't, I can't deal with the heat. I know I don't like the cold, but my weather is spring, the real spring, 70, 75. I think right now in Atlanta, let me see, it's going to be highest 80s, 90, but this heat is crucial. so i ended up leaving that parking garage because it was a mess in there like the lawn was not moving then the valet people were saying that it's only limited spots so deja texted me and said that she was finding park um street parking but she just texted me back and said her street parking was nine minute is a nine minute walk from the spot i'm from jersey so i don't mind walking but um i also don't know how far nine minutes is but i got lucky enough and i found a parking spot on the street which is like one block over from barney so it's literally not a bad walk at all but i'm trying to see if i can find her one over here because i found this one because somebody literally just pulled out and i pulled right in after them but if she can find one over here we gucci so good thing she just found parking only four minutes away walking so that's better than nine but um yeah i'm about to get out the car right now and go meet her i love this shirt and i got it from a black owned boutique <laughs> So we had to sit outside because apparently it was a three, three hour wait. they still waiting those people they've been waiting for a very long time i'm so happy we were smart enough to <laughs> come over here and sit down <laughs> we've been sitting here waiting so hungry it was the grace of god <laughs> it was looking out <laughs> I know and I'm trying I was trying to wait for my food. Right. So I'm sad. Is that I wanted to come here and experience the inside and not have to sit outside, but <laughs> I was hungry, so we just ended up setting them for outside. Right, I'm hot and I'm lit. And this sun just came out of nowhere and it's like literally beaming. Y'all see it on my skin, right? It's like beaming. Let me show y'all the umbrella. This still not working for me. Oh my god, it's so hot. The server was nice enough to move it over a little bit.
Hey y'all, what's up? So I decided that I was about to head to Starbucks, but then before I was like, why not get a shot of my outfit? So I brought my tripod with me and I'm back at my favorite gray wall and I'm gonna see if I can give me a, um, some shots before I head to Starbucks because we're gonna be trying a new drink today, okay? I'm using my camera as a mirror today to check my outfit. Make sure everything is in place. This shirt is a little, I don't know, it's weird. It's not staying in place. Yes. So y'all, I just finished shooting and I'm about to drive to Starbucks to try this uh, funnel cake frappe that everybody's been talking about. Some people have been telling me it's nasty. Some people have been saying it's good. So we about to see what it do. I'm gonna run from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. Pride. That's where I never thought it would matter. going to Starbucks now and we about to see if this drink is going to be hitting or not on my mask so I got hype for nothing and they're saying that they closed I'm not getting a Starbucks drink today. Apparently, Starbucks closed at six o'clock and it's about 6.20. So yeah, I'm definitely not a Starbucks customer because I don't even know what time they open and close. And I'm kind of mad because I had my mind set on this whole drink. So I will try again tomorrow. It's like OD, like I thought I was doing something by just coming down here trying to go to the belt line for a quick little morning walk and then go to Starbucks. They have a belt line on, um, I said a belt line. They have a Starbucks on the belt line. I totally forgot about that. And look at this traffic, like, this shit is annoying. Dude, like, when you see that traffic shit, you just gotta hop off the highway, <laughs> switch your GPS to navigation with no freeways and take the straight way, baby. <laughs> Hopefully nobody else did this because then I'm gonna be tight. But yes, I definitely hopped off and I'm like, I feel like I can get there quicker just maneuvering through the streets because that traffic is OD. See over there, y'all can't really see it. Let me zoom in. That's like a skate park. Be mad lit. They got a whole skate community that be down here every day. But this whole area normally be like filled with people just chilling, walking their dogs, especially on the weekends, it'd be crazy. But yeah, this is part of the belt line for those of you who do not live in Atlanta or Georgia. Um, so peaceful. I like to ride bikes over here too, and I haven't done that in a minute. I need to schedule a day to ride a bike. Maybe I'll do that um, one morning, because I did do that one day. I had rode the entire 
belt line like two to three times. Legs was on fire. But yeah, see, he riding. <laughs> he ain't playing. These people be working out. It's so motivating coming over here. <laughs> I can't think straight. I can't think straight right now. I'm really about to, I'm about to snap. I gotta, let me sit down, let me sit down. Let me sit down. She just said, they out of the strawberry funnel cake crap at it. I just drove down here, right? It's early in the morning. How y'all out of the sugar from the cake right there? Like, I think I think they don't want me to have it. Like, I don't know. Maybe this is a sign. Like, maybe this is a sign. I'm I'm now I'm like unmotivated to try to go to another Starbucks. Cause I don't have time for that. I need to go back home and get some work done. But I'm thinking about later, like on my little my little time for lunch. I was Y'all, this some bullshit. I just gassed myself up again. Like, I tasted, I don't know, I had in my mind what I felt like it was gonna taste like. And then she literally just killed my dreams. up all excited because I see somebody outside working on a computer just to find out that this location is temporarily closed like what the f with some strawberry syrup on top i do not taste no funnel cake maybe because i got the coffee base versus the cream base and i'm gonna go back and try that but right now it's really not giving what i thought
and I'm a little key excited because I got my first package um, to my P.O. box. Um, I just got my P.O. box maybe like two and a half weeks ago. And my girl Pam, I'm going to link her right here, My Natural Pie on Instagram. And I'll link her YouTube as well. But she sent me a box and I cannot wait to see what's inside. It's so nice that you see him, girl. But yeah, I'm about to head home now because, um, yeah. So here's like a little quick video of me opening the box for my IG stories. Um, she put a cute little card in here. Now this card was so freaking special. It was the words for me. Like, just so fucking thoughtful. I love you, Tam, and I thank you so much. Y'all, my internet friends be showing up for me. I don't know, I just never thought that like me meeting friends on the internet would take it this far. Like I would really, you know, build genuine connections like the ones that I do have. And I am very, very thankful. But she gave me a wine glass, a You Go Girl workbook, along with some candles, some candy, and also my little wine. Thank you so much, Tam.